My first clinical year of med school has come to an end and after a lot of hard work, tears and hours of revision, the results whether or not I'm going into my fourth year are finally out. In today's video, find out whether or not I did enough to pass the hardest exams of my life so far. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> So it's been three weeks of patiently waiting since our exams and today is the day that we get our exam results. Now, I'm hardly managing to string a sentence together right now because I feel physically sick. From the minute we were told yesterday that the results were gonna come out today, I haven't been able to concentrate properly and I wasn't even sure whether to record today's video, but I've done it every single year so far of medical school and I really like having it to look back on and for the memories. So here we are, fingers and toes and everything crossed. It is currently 2.20 and the results were supposed to come out at 2.15. They've then pushed it back to 2.30. So hopefully we just have 10 more minutes left of waiting until we know. So what I'm getting back for anyone who doesn't know is all of my end of year exams for third year, which is basically everything finished off. So what we had was two MCQ papers on all of the topics that we had covered for the whole of third year on placement. So this was things like the cardiac system, respiratory system, elderly care, the gastro system, and we had some learning objectives and things to do on placement, but it is our first set of clinical based exams ever. And they were so hard, like some of the hardest exams I think I've ever sat in my life and the only thing reconciling me right now is that everyone felt exactly the same and then we also get our results back for our oskies which are 10 stations that you go around and it can be a completely different scenario for each again this was our first set of oskies that we've done at medical school so a very different set of exams to what i've ever sat before in my life and to be honest i just cannot wait to get these results out of the way i can't even say anything about how I thought I did because I hate talking about things like that and you are about to see. So I'm going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and possibly tidy my room because it's a bit of a mess behind me and report back when they email us that they're in. Oh my god I think I'm going to throw up. Right guys I've just cheated the system and I'm not even looking at it yet because I'm too nervous that I got it wrong. Basically I've logged into the portal where we normally check our results and I've gone onto it and they do seem to be there and it, it does say that I've passed but I can't look at it too much. No they are there. Guys I'm convinced this is right. Please. It's really not fair if these are not right. I mean my MCQs, <laughs> I found these exams so hard for so many reasons. I literally can't even get too excited about this because I don't know if these are the results. I don't know why they're not saying. Sorry, I feel like that was such an anticlimax, but I really wasn't sure whether these were gonna be my results or not because they haven't emailed them saying that they're out. So we're basically cheating by looking at these right now, but you know, my heart can't take much more of this. So, call clinical two, you go in and I got 58.9. I'm happy with that. Well, I wouldn't say I'm happy, I'm very much not happy, but it's a pass at the end of the day. There's a lot of things I would have done different for that exam in hindsight and I'm gonna go through properly after this and give you all the things that I've learned from third year and what I will be taking into fourth year because believe me, I will be doing fourth year completely differently to third year for several key reasons. And then my OSCEs, I got 75. So I'm very happy with that. And then in my first station, I got 81. Second station, I got 59, 86, 66, 95, 80, 72, 33.4. I can tell you right now, that was my prescribing station. I did so, so bad and 69.8. Oh my God, I got 100. I got 100 on my last station. That was a thyroid exam, everyone. Thyroid exam, practiced it. And then I still need to pass my professional development activities, which we're currently doing at the moment. I then have my evidence-based, which was the exam that we had before Christmas, and I got 76 in that. I then have higher, which I got 62. I then have my clinical procedure skills, which I passed. And then my direct observations, I passed as well. I'm so proud. I'm not normally like this, I swear. <sighs> There's a lot to learn. 
I'm really pleased with my huskies though. They weren't better than what I thought and I feel like they were an experience doing them for the first time because that adrenaline rush, trust me, is like nothing I'm ever gonna experience again in my life. I'd never done it. But anyway, we're gonna go and tell my, gr my grandma. Look, it's out now. No, I really have packed. I just need to double check everything for a fourth time everyone before I fully believe that I've actually passed and then I might be able to like pull myself together a little bit. <laughs> we did it. I can't tell you because I've been gone from YouTube but I was really struggling with these exams like I found them so hard so so hard like just to get through and we've done it. We have done my first set of clinical exams we passed mark 67 oh no that's including so my overall grade for my oskies and my core clinical mcqs is 67 it's not too bad anna that is not too bad grandma you're in, you're in the vlog do you want to be in the vlog i passed i passed i passed i passed <gasps> yeah. oh well done so happy oh. i can't believe i'm gonna oh. phone mum and dad hi Yeah, sorry, I didn't tell you, but I got my results. All right. I passed, I passed. All good? Yeah, I passed, I passed. <sighs> <sighs> right, I feel like I've managed to pull myself together a little bit. I think it was just really emotional because, like I was saying, I've never found any exams harder in my entire life. And last year, 50% of the cohort failed these exams. So they are really renowned for being a tough set of exams at Birmingham Medical School because they are so different to anything we've sat before. And I just feel ridiculously relieved and like I can just get on with the rest of my life now, enjoy my summer, focus on YouTube, focus on reflecting on this year and moving forward. And yes, it might not be the best result that I've ever had, but I don't know how the rest of the year did yet to compare how it was to everyone else. And I also can't beat myself up about it. A pass is a pass at the end of the day. And especially in my Oscars, I'm really proud of myself. I did myself proud and I did my best. And that's always all you can ask of yourself. But before I go anywhere, I wanna share with you quickly my four biggest takeaways from these exams and what I'll be doing differently next year. And firstly, might be a little bit controversial, but that is to not bother using the lectures. Now, for us at Birmingham, they even tell us that they don't take the questions from the lectures and they're supplementary resources to use if you find them helpful. And I have this thing where I find it really hard to not do everything that I'm given because I feel like I'm going to miss something. But when you have so much to learn, finding the best resource that works for you and stick with that is so much better so I really liked a zero to finals towards the end of exams but I found it a little bit too late so I'll be using that from the beginning but I also love bite med quest med the Oxford dictionary is really helpful as well for medicine but don't feel obliged to use resources that aren't working for you because it is a much better use of your time to use something that you know suits your learning style linking in with this is to do practice questions and the PASMED even earlier now I only started using a PASMED during the revision period whereas next year I'm going to be using the practice questions and PASMED from the beginning of the year as I go through the topics to get used to the style of questions from the very beginning. And seeing these questions and testing yourself is a way of learning as you go along because there is just so much to try to cram into any amount of time that doing it as you go along is so much easier. Number three is to start with the pharmacy content earlier. Now I'm gonna get myself a little book drugs and draw some pictures or find a better way of learning them because I just panicked and tried to learn them all at the end especially after our first MCQ paper which was hugely pharmacy based and then I just couldn't learn them all in time so each week I'm going to be writing in this little book and learning my drugs again as I go along. I think there might be a common theme here. And number four is a really nice one and that is you do need a more balance during exam season. This year I did work really hard to try and still go to the gym, still see my friends as I went along. I didn't punish myself and not let myself do anything and I do think that is why I didn't completely tip over the edge. Yes I had 
one night before the first exam where I was literally on the edge of a breakdown but you know we got there we sat the exam we did it and that is what is important but I do just think for me I need to make sure I take that time to look after myself during exams because it is so important to keep you going and to still look after your mental health even through really tough times like exam period. So that is it, we have practically made it through third year. I have a few smaller modules to finish off, but no more exams and I can't quite believe we've passed them all. I'm basically a fourth year medical student now, guys. We did it. God, fourth, fifth year, then we're done. Crazy. Anyway, good luck anyone who has got exam results coming out. I know it's the hardest thing at waiting, but really try as much as possible to push it to the back of your head. There's nothing that you can do about it now. And if you do have the whole of summer to wait for A-level results, just really, really enjoy it and make the most of that time. And good luck every single one of you. I bet you've done yourselves so proud no matter what. And I'll see you all so soon in the next one. Bye.